In this tutorial, let us write some while loop codes. So the problem is to print hello world while a condition is met. So let's go to our IDE. So let us remove the previous codes. So now let's set a value inside the variable. Let's make it two. And now we have our while loop. Why our value is greater than zero. So let us print hello world here. Echo hello world. And let us add the break HTML tag. So let's close the tag. So we have something like this. And after executing this code, let us reduce the value by one. So our value should be dollar value minus one. So after executing this hello world, we are reducing our value by one. So let us see how the code is going to run. For the first time, our dollar value is two. It checks this condition. Is dollar value greater than zero? This is true because two is greater than zero. This line of code will be executed. That is, hello world will be printed. Now it's going to be dollar value because dollar value minus one, which is two minus one. The answer is one. Our dollar value you have a value of one. It goes back to the condition dollar value is greater than zero. Now we have one greater than zero, which is true. This will be executed the second time. And here we have our dollar value to be one minus one. One minus one is zero. So the current value of dollar value is zero. So it goes back to the condition dollar value greater than zero. That is zero greater than zero, which is false. The next line of execution, we jump out of the loop. So it means we successfully printed hello world just two times. So let's confirm that on the browser. So let's check the browser. So if you refresh, so you can see this is confirming our logic. We are having hello world two times. Let's make it four. Let's check the result. So this is four times. And if you like, you can add the value here. So let us add the value. And let's check the result. I mean, our container here, the variable, let us add it here. So we have hello world for the first time is 4321. For the first time, dollar value is 4, you're having 4 here. The second time is 3, third time is 2, 1. For 0, this line of code will not be executed because this condition is false. So the line of execution jumps here. So let's make it 8. So let's refresh. You have 8 until you have 1 because the condition is dollar value greater than 0. So can we change it to a negative value and let's see the result. If this is minus 1. No, this will not be executed at all. Why? Because even at the first case, dollar value is minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than 0. It's false. So nothing will be executed in the block of code. So it jumps here. So can we change our condition? Let's make this to be less than let's check the result. But before checking the result, let us look at the logic. For the first time, dollar value is minus one. So we have minus one is less than zero, which is actually true. This line of code will be executed. And here we have our new value for dollar value will be minus one, minus one, which is minus two. 
minus 2 is less than 0. This is true. This will be executed again. And let's say the result. So we have this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. All these numbers are less than 0. So you can see it continues. It continues. It continues because the condition is always less than 0. So the value continues. And this is what we call infinite loop. So it continues until you exhaust all your memory. So it continues. It continues. This is infinite loop. It is interesting to have infinite loop, but don't do it on a live server. I mean on the production environment. So let us change our condition to the correct condition based on the requirements. Nobody will ask you to write uh, an infinite loop. So you only write it due to some mistakes. So let's have, let's clean everything. Okay. So now I think you have a very good understanding of why loop.